well, thank God. But in some way, we've done that in spite of the structural realities of how the tax system works, how the building codes work, how the fire codes work, uh, and how urban planning works in general in the city of Los Angeles. No developer has had more faith in the future of downtown Los Angeles as a residential neighborhood than Tom Gilmore. He was a New Yorker, but not anymore. As a New Yorker, falling in love with Los Angeles wasn't easy, but when I fell, I fell hard. Tom Gilmore did what Channel 9 did 11 years ago, looked at downtown Los Angeles and tried to figure out what on earth could cause a large city to close up everything and just sit there. The reasons ranged from simple to complex, but a number of years ago, he decided to try and track down the people who owned abandoned banks, abandoned offices and department stores who might sell to him and some of his other partners over the years. He found that Iranians who had fled their nation with the Shah of Iran back in the 1970s had bought several of the structures. Some were now owned by evangelists, others were owned by local elderly residents or even offshore holding companies. And virtually none of these owners wanted any part of an LA revitalization campaign. Economic change, social change, cultural change, urban change doesn't happen by accident. And, and that change, whether good or bad, is a function of decisions people make. And, and I think a lot of the greed that, that drove downtown in the 60s, 70s, and 80s led to its ultimate decline. And I think that it took the same amount of force for good to begin to change it. And I think those original building owners really just sat on their buildings waiting to make a buck and to some extent they were vindicated, which is amazing because ultimately they did make a buck after we all started to buy this stuff, but they didn't help. And, yeah. and it would have been nice if somebody had looked at this stuff and said, hey, you know what, I can be part of a change for good. I don't have to just wait for good to happen and then I'll take advantage of the change. Gilmore pried 4th Street between Spring and Main away from some of the owners and he also bought the old Lancashire San Fernando building and turned it into the old bank district. He helped push through the city's adaptive reuse law in 1999 and with the considerable help of his wife began turning empty space into this. Scores of loft style apartments downtown, all for rent in the $1,000 to $2,500 a month range. He immediately was sold out. Like Ira Yellen before him, he drew a mix of residents who were hungry for city life. What is so good about it? I like, being, I like the feel of downtown. Uh, I like that it's a city instead of the rest of LA that's just like a, a bunch of suburbs. It's a good city feel. It's, it's convenient to pretty much everywhere in the city. Uh, and uh, I like it. Yes. That's all that really matters. Do you like the big changes that it's going through? Like all of a sudden it's residential and a lot of people are going to live here? Oh, yeah, oh I'd, I'd much prefer that to than being, you know, crime rated streets down here. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a, it's, a, it's a nice change from what it was. Was it what you expected? Yes. It's been. I mean, it's been great so far, I think. It took a while to get like, you know, the restaurant or to get the deli, but after that happened, there's been like, you know, only like good things happening. I mean, it's a little bit bothering sometimes, you know, to have the film industry shooting too much, but it's been, it's been really good. So you could see it as a long-term home or as other people enjoy also, do your friends like it? Um, what, what do they think? Everybody gets really impressed when they get to see, like, you know, the interior of my loft. It's like, like, I mean, like many of the lofts here, they look, it looks like New York. And so that's a good thing for us because we came from New York. Right now, dozens of buildings are being converted into rental apartments downtown. The huge subway terminal building alone will be more than 300 units. Approximately 8,000 units are now being constructed, all in the old abandoned city. Mr. Gilmore's neighborhood is definitely thriving, and so is he. It's been fulfilling. Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's defined, you know, the, the rest of my life, and, and, I, and I like it because I think ultimately, without sounding too stupid, I, I think ultimately it's meaningful. You know, it counts. I think the city of L.A. hopefully is a better place because of what we're doing.